Okay, so we're going to go at, uh, creating some art like Mondrian. Uh, for this, we're going to need a ruler, pencil, and four coloured pens. I've chosen a yellow, a black, a blue, and a red. Though you could use pencil crowns, or wax crowns, or even paint for doing as well. So, to begin with, plain piece of paper, and we're going to divide it up into quarters. I've sort of found the halfway mark, do a line down, and then that's half, and then going to divide it into quarters. Like that. There you are. One, two, three, four parts. Now, I'm going to divide it up again. Okay, so I'm going to divide this section here in half, like so. And then I'm going to divide this section over here in half as well. So far, I've got eight parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, I'm going to divide these parts up as well. So, I'm going to take this bit up here. I'm going to draw a line across. And I've now got eight parts at the top and four at the bottom. And this bottom area, I'm going to divide up again. Like so. So I started off with halves, went to quarters, now I've divided it up into 16 separate rectangles. Now, now I'm going to start adding colour. Now, as you can see from Mondrian's original, he had a large area of red, and I'm going to do the same with me, and I'm going to make my large red area just over here look. So I'm going to get colouring straight away this section at the top. nice and easy to do this with paints as well. What Mondrian did, he wanted some nice strong blocks of colour. When you do this, you can decide where you want to put your red areas and completely up to you. But it's worth having a look at what Mondrian did to get some inspiration first. And it's quite important also to get that strong block of colour. Try very hard not to leave any white showing through you colour in these areas because we want those really solid coloured areas. It's also quite important not to colour over the lines as well if you can help it. And stay with them as best you can. Okay, a bit down the bottom here as well. Tidy this line up. Now I've had to take my piece of paper to the desk to stop it from moving around under the camera, but when you're doing this you might want to be able to turn your paper around a bit and I promise that would be a lot easier for colouring than trying to move your whole body around to do this. Ok, a little bit of top, keep it some white here and there, we'll get those as best we can, there we go, I'll go back and tie those up in a minute. Ok, and then when I look at that one, I'm going to pick somewhere else to have some red I think, uh, looking at Mondrian's picture here, We'd have some red over here or over here. So I think I'm going to go between the two. I'm going to go with this one over here. Choose my red blocks there. Again, try really hard to stay in the lines. There we go. Sweep on my pen. Put that one in. do for red because I want to choose a different colour so I want to choose yellow nice bright summery yellow but here we go and I'm going to choose a block just next to the red at the top end to have this one in a nice strong yellow and try to keep it in the lines Okay. 
there. Go back and tie those in a minute. And I think I'm also gonna have yeah, gonna have this one over here as well, I think. So there we go. Add some yellow down the bottom. Nice summer. Down the nose. Good colour. There we go, happy with that. Time to swap colours again, I think. Uh, this time, blue. Here we go. Nice royal blue. Okay. Top corner for this one, I reckon. All my top row has now got a colour in it. I think I'm going to split these up here because all my rectangles are they're either large ones or they are the same size. So what I'm going to do for variety, I'm going to make these ones here half size. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to draw a line halfway across up to there. Look, I've created one, two, three, four, five, six little rectangles as well there. So, now I've got those, the blue pen back in, there we go. The reason we're doing that is Mondrian had different shapes, uh, different sized rectangles in his pictures as well, they're all the same, some are large, some are a bit smaller than others. It also breaks the lines up a little bit between the uh, cut blocks. on there and then finally I'm going to add a block of black because I've noticed look that he put black blocks in as well I'm going to put a black block in just there can't decide if I want any more I think I'm just going to go with the one see if I overdo it I might take away some of the bright colours if I do too many Doesn't look very Mondrian at the moment because there are no straight lines between the colours, so that's what I'm going to add now. And hopefully, my felt tip pen has dried out a little bit, but should be okay to do this. If it's a bit wet, the colour runs, so it's all nice and dry at the moment. So, I'm going to start with this middle one here. Got my black pen, got my ruler, know where my lines are, and very carefully I go over the top, straighten those lines up, but there we go. And down here, I think I'm going to go here next. There we go. And I think that's it for all the vertical lines, not the horizontal ones, but across the page. There we go. All these ones here I made a bit smaller. Right the way across this one. Go and finally, okay. So that is my wandering picture. You can see a few things that need tidying up now. Just 
here. Otherwise, that's it. When you do this, experiment where you're going to put your colour blocks to. Don't have too many colour blocks. I think I've got two yellow, two red, two blue, and a black in mine. That's all you need because you want some white showing through as well, just like Mondrian did. Um, again, you can choose how you want to do this, whether you want to use sculpted pens, could be crayons, could be paint, entirely up to you. Have fun, don't forget to share your fantastic ideas.